that's true, if hypnosis is fake, can I propose maybe a simple test? That basically, that we perform a series of very simple hypnotic inductions and maybe some hypnotic suggestions and we see what happens. If, hypno if, no if hypnosis is fake, then nothing will happen. If it's real, then I guess we'll see. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sleep. <laughs> sleep. Breath in and sleep all the way in, drops in. Sleep all the way in. Say sleep and it's gonna happen. Very good. Dropping down. Excellent. Everybody, sleep all the way in. Okay. So what these people are experiencing is something that we call hypnotic sleep. Actually, they appear to be sleeping, but I'm gonna to suggest to you that that is not true. They are not actually sleeping. Here's some examples. I'm gonna show some examples of hypnotic sleep. So here's some examples of hypnotic sleep. And one of the reasons why we don't understand hypnotic sleep is we tend to focus on the hypnotist and not the people who are actually sleeping. So now, I'm gonna go a little bit closer, take a look. I'm gonna to suggest to you that these people are in a very interesting state. Now, do they look like they're sleeping? And I'm gonna to suggest to you that they are actually awake and alert. If you can hear my voice and you know what's going on, you have the power to lift a finger on your right hand. You can do that now. If you can hear my voice, you can lift a finger on your right hand. Now, beautiful, take a deep breath in and relax and now go back to sleep. Beautiful, relaxing all the way. They are actually still here. They haven't gone anywhere. And I'm gonna suggest at this point that people are very open to suggestions. So, maybe I'll start with this fellow right here. When you hear the word hypnotism, the person I'm touching right now, when you hear the word hypnotism, you will shout, it's fake. When you hear the word hypnotism, you will shout, it's fake. When you hear the word hypnotism, you will start laughing. You will shout, I am in complete control of all my actions. <laughs> Do a bit of an experiment. And I'm going to try something else. There are probably people in the audience right now that are actually in trance. So I'm going to ask you to take a deep breath in, anybody in the audience, and you can go right back to sleep. So now, coming back into the room, feeling refreshed and relaxed, remaining in trance on the count of three, two, one, when I sat my fingers, now. When I am talking right now about hypnotism. It's fake! Um, <laughs> what I'm trying to illustrate is that something, hypnotism is not, is, not, is not well understood, okay? Is not well understood. Um, what do you think of hypnotism? It's fake! <laughs> If I could just ask this person for a second, what do you think of it? I have it? complete control. Uh, clearly. <laughs> clearly you do. Now, um, I'm going to show you something in my right hand. I have a sleep gun. This is a gun. It cannot hurt you. But when I shoot you with this gun, you're going to go right back into a deep and relaxing sleep. On the count of three, two, one, bang, sleep. And bang, sleep. And bang, sleep. Very good. So these people are in a very relaxed state. These are sort of our all-stars here. <laughs> Now, uh, I'm going to suggest to you there's something very interesting going on with these people, and it's something, if you want to look at it, it's actually in the eyes. Now, I don't know if you can see it clearly, but if you see this person right here, can you see it? Their eyes are actually flickering. Now, why would their eyes be flickering? Now, I'm going to suggest something interesting, that their eyes are actually rolled up in their heads. Now, why would that happen? Isn't that kind of weird? And I'm going to suggest to you, let's go back to our friend, the shaman, and look at the shaman. His eyes are also rolled up. Uh, you can look at it here. Is it a little bit closer? You can see a little bit closer. And now let me show you something else, that sometimes when people are in this state, you can see his eyes are flickering. That when people are in this state, that they, um, they sometimes remain with their eyes open. That looks a little bit like this. Now, look a little bit closer, and of course we get an effect that looks almost diabolical. In fact, <laughs> this is straight out of The Exorcist, and it may explain this stereotype. So, now let me show something. Let's go back right here. And let me suggest to you that there's probably a reason why this state actually occurs. And maybe I'll start with this person right here. That is it possible that this original hypnotist who used the stereotype of a hypnotist, somebody uses a pendulum that goes back and forth, that that pendulum going back and forth is doing something particular to the eyes. Let's do a little bit of an experiment. This is a induction developed by Mike Mandel, a Canadian hypnotist. I'm going to ask you, ma'am, if you don't mind, if you can just sit up for a second. When I snap my fingers, you can sit up. Now. I'm just going to ask you just to look at my finger, right? Watch it. Keep your head steady and watch it go back, forth, back, forth. Your eyes get heavier. In a few seconds, they will just close, back, and forth. Now you can just go relax to sleep. Beautiful. Look at her eyes. are flickering. <laughs> so she has entered a state, 
and I hope that this is kind of sciencey, she's entered a state that is very similar to REM. Now, is it possible that what hypnosis is doing is jump-starting the actual REM state? Now, to show you perhaps an interesting example of why this must ma might matter, let me show you a video. Take a look at this video. So I know that's a pretty ridiculous video, but let me explain there's actually something very profound going on here. And that is, there's actually a veterinarian who wrote, wrote an article for the newspaper that explained that what's actually going on here is that cats are actually reliving traumas. They're not, but here's the weird thing. Why are cats afraid of cucumbers? Because cucumbers remind them of what? Or look like what? Snakes, exactly. They look like snakes, but hold on a second. Would domestic cats in North America or in Kingston or anywhere like that, would they ever encounter a snake? No, never. So why would domestic cats all seemingly be programmed to already be afraid of snakes that they've never met? The explanation, very simply, is that Professor Michel Jouvet, experimental medicine at the University of Lyon in the 60s, did a series of experiments. He's, he's called the Christopher Columbus of dreams. And his theory is that M mammals, or all mammals, while they're in the, the womb, basically enjoy a powerful REM state, a dream state. That dream state may be essential to programming us to be what we are. So cats would be programmed to be afraid of snakes while in the womb. That would be an explanation for why they are now afraid of cucumbers, even though they never encounter snakes. That makes sense. So now, is it possible that hypnosis is us hacking in to this actual dream state. And let's take a look. You probably remember the movie The Matrix. In The Matrix, Neo is programmed to know Kung Fu. It's advanced technology, helps him know Kung Fu. And I'm gonna to suggest to you that we can do something like that today. I'll take this person right here. You are a Kung Fu master, you know? <laughs> and you're gonna demonstrate a new form of Kung Fu in the red dot known as TEDx, a powerful, dramatic form of Kung Fu. You will always remain safe and you will not push your body beyond its known limits. Please meet the master of Kung Fu right now. Sir, you wanna go? Demonstrating the rare and beautiful TEDx form. Thank you. Now, I want to take us from, in conclusion, maybe back to the, the chicken. Um, what is really, truly amazing, actually, is that when I do hypnosis shows, I used to avoid ever turning people into chickens because it's cliche and silly. But then I actually learned something amazing. When you do the research, there's something amazing about people being chickens. So I'm going to do a demonstration, deep breath in, relax and sleep. Beautiful. Maybe Tara, you can go relax and sleep. Beautiful. Very good. You are a chicken. You peck and you say baka and you do all the chickeny things. <laughs> you are a chicken. That's right. You do all the chickeny things. You're a great, amazing chicken. <laughs> you, madame, are a cat. You are a cat. And you're very much like a cat. <laughs> now. <laughs> Chickens can come out, you can step up here. Now one thing about chickens and cats. <laughs> now, I'll just ask you, I'm gonna remind you, as chickens and cats, you have been programmed to be mortally afraid of cucumbers. If you see an image, If you see a picture or an image of a cucumber, you will scream. You will scream. Anyone 
who sees a picture of a cucumber here will scream. Now, Kat, do you see the chickens? <laughs> sure, do you see the chickens? <laughs> Now I'm going to ask all of you, if you don't mind, to direct your attention to the screen. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> OK. OK. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. You can go back to your, you can go back to your, uh, that's right, you can go back. I'm going to make a suggestion now. <laughs> Here's a simple demonstration of hypnotherapy. Now, when you see a cucumber, you will no longer scream. You will only laugh. You'll laugh incredibly hard. You'll be unable to stop laughing now. <laughs> Very good. You can have a seat right now. Sir, so I'm going to give you. Tara, I'm going to give you the sleep gun. Here's a gun. I want you to take this gun. I want you to shoot the cat over there. I want you to shoot him. He won't be hurt. You're going to go into a deep, relaxed state. And then I'm going to ask you to shoot yourself. OK. <laughs> and go into a deep and relaxed state. So here's the sleep gun right now. You can just make a loud bang. That's all. Shoot the cat over there, if you don't mind. Bang. Go into a deep, relaxed state and sleep. Beautiful. Very good. When you shoot him, he'll go into a deep, relaxed state. Bang. Very good. Okay. Now, I know that we all laugh at the guy, in a sense, or the person that becomes a chicken. But actually, this shows a very profound and amazing aspect of humanity. Humans have the ability, unlike other mammals, apparently, to dream just about anything. We can imagine ourselves as chickens, as aliens, as any kind of weird associated thought or, or, or feeling. And that really shows why humans have such a powerful and, to some, to some extent, a limitless imagination. I'm going to suggest to you that hypnosis itself remains completely uncharted. It is still misunderstood. And that the state that these people are in, when they come out of the state, they're going to feel wonderfully refreshed and relaxed. That's because with hypnosis, we hack into the fundamental programming state, which also happens to be a state that is itself tremendously recuperative. This dreaming state is tremendously recuperative and healthy, and you're going to see these people will come out of it feeling very um, healthy, relaxed, and clear. So in conclusion, I just want to say hypnosis is not the preserve of hypnotists or hypnotherapists even. It is the common, and massive, and amazing inheritance of all humanity. And that's something that the world needs to know. So in conclusion, the people that are in a hypnotic state, and the people that includes the people in the audience, if you're hypnotized, in a few seconds, you'll come back into the room. You're going to feel refreshed and relaxed and wonderful. You've done an amazing job. You're really incredible and magical. When you come back into the room, you're going to feel refreshed, relaxed, no longer hypnotized. There's only one catch. You'll have no idea what happened while you were on the stage. You'll forget everything that happened to you on the stage until you hear me say the word fake. Then everything will come flooding back to you. You'll remember everything, and you will laugh. Okay. So I would just like to say in conclusion, I hope today that I have demonstrated that hypnosis is totally and completely fake. <laughs> Thank you very much.